Ira and Mithra, not what I was expecting, but also characters that are extremely good in my opinion. So Absolutely. a threat for sure. So getting into this, I actually think, you know, although Bowser Jr. doesn't have too much, too many approach options, you know, you don't always have to approach. You can always just kind of just, you know, play the game a little bit, play a little bit more of neutral. Play neutral to really good and already an explosive start kind of, you know, from Phantom just being extremely aggressive, kind of just invading Terraboy's space and just immediately not letting Terraboy have any room to kind of just breathe. Putting on 64% as I'm not breathing <laughs> to just put on so wow. much damage. And this is almost the time where I kind of see Phantom kind of switching in to um, Pyra soon, you know, that's kind of what might actually take out this um, stock. If we see, what are we going to see? An Edgeguard situation, just waiting for a little bit. I mean, that's exactly what we needed because, you know, you shouldn't always throw out your eggs into the one basket when, you know, you haven't even... Yeah, I mean, as long as they're keeping the ledge pressure with Mithra, there's not too much of an urge for them to switch because they have no risk of losing their stock, but... It only takes a little bit because I was doing actually some surprisingly some surprisingly good strings and almost took the stock right there. Absolutely, and we're just seeing, you know, Terraboy make this back up. I mean, honestly, at 109%, this is definitely even. They only need, I think, a side B or any other move to take yeah, this that's out. That's not going to take it. Yes, Another advantage not. of Bowser Jr. is their weight. Very heavy character, so... Pyra, I think, is the play right here. Otherwise, it's gonna be, Mitra is not going to be able to kill Bowser Jr. until really high percent, so we're going to need the Pirate Swap. And the thing about Bowser Jr. is that when they are in their cart, they're heavy, but when they're out of their cart, they're actually um, very light, too, and very the nice. The classic. The classic. Ooh, just very nice getting that kill. Um, at 16. Yeah, never mind. I lied. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I lied to you guys. I think Terraboy's going to be happy with this even stock, though, because of how much they got ran over. It's, it's good for them to even back up, but right now, once again, Mithra's pressure is just insane. That is a quick 70%. I mean, yeah, oh my god, already 84%. Just look at this. Their advantage is so good, and just, you know, this is going to be a little bit scary because if Terraboy can't actually, you know, make up their advantage, this is going to be a little bit of a hard situation for Terraboy to get out of. And yeah, Terraboy is going to need another string like they got last stock. Otherwise, it's going to be such a per percent difference that the weight won't even matter too much. Well, and already switching to Pyra. I could have been a stock, I believe. Absolutely, and I very much like that card dash to cover that getup, but not going to get that. At 68%, you know, Phantom is looking like they're very comfortable right now. Oh, stuck up against Terra Boy. This is looking very fun Ooh, for Phantom. Just kind of going back to um, Mithra to just start some advantage going. Going to get that carry into jab, punish, and this is, wow. 60% extra credit, but... Ooh. Very nice down smash to punish that up B. Ooh. Getting this lush tap going on. Very nice item usage, but not going to do too much with it. And wow. Mithra speed just coming out right there. Able to both dodge away from the side B, but have the time to run up and punish it. Very nice. And I definitely love the attempt to punish that, but Mithra, ooh. Great spacing. Very nice. Actually punishing that with back air. We definitely love that. And wow, just reading the roll in, just not even like having any care for what, you know, what um, Phantom actually wants to do out of that. Just wow, definitely, oof, just kind of doing really well. Ooh, that definitely could have spelled some trouble right there. Yeah, Pyra's, or Mithra's up air can kill when you're really high up like that, but Bowser Jr.'s weight's still coming through. Almost Not gonna kill it. just yeah. Very nice usage of the um, cannonball. Oh, cannonball. the cannonball. See, um, that's something I've kind of actually learned that Bowser Juniors like to do a lot is that they actually like to use um, the cannon at higher percent to kind of just um, help their recovery a little bit because that actually um, falls down and still has a hitbox oh. at the end. But not gonna get that punish right there. That was very scary for both of these players. You know, this is ooh, that, that was here. that two, two stops. Very close. Yeah, I think one thing, um, that back air is going to come in clutch because, um, time out, not knowing the Bowser Jr. matchup, but also not many people know how to fight a good high-level Pyro and Mithra yet because you a pretty new character, relatively speaking. Absolutely. And, and do so you know who's been putting in work with Pyro and Mithra? Frozen, I believe. Yes, our Two very own HO3K Frozen. She has been putting in so much work.
Have, yeah. ha, how do you feel about, you know, the Frozen, I mean, not the Frozen, the um, Pirate and Mithras we have in um, New York? I think they're only going to get better and better because I, this character has so much untapped potential. Like, coming into off, I think online it was hard to really optimize Mithra that much because of just the restraints. But in person, the pressure Mithra has, I mean, you saw it right there. Almost every stock, Terraboy basically started out with at least 70% on them because of just one quick opening, which is really good frame data. So yeah, I think these characters are top, top, top tier potential. Absolutely. And we're already going to FD. Now, I think the reason for this stage might be because, you know, Terraboy kind of wants to have enough space to kind of just, sorry, get out of the range of Pyra, or Mithra, to kind of just avoid everything that she has. And Terraboy, it's gotta be on point with these up B punches. Now whiffing a couple, and you gotta take every spot you get. Very nice. That actually, um, that Mecha Koopa actually kind of um helped, you know, protect Terraboy there because you know they um. Phantom actually kind of had to worry about that. And very nice grab. Gonna put them right back off stage and gonna throw out that Mega Koopa butt falling off and just gonna get F Smash for the troubles from center stage. Ooh. This Pyra's lead trapping is really scary. Ooh, that would have been such a nice mix up. Yeah, but with such a big disjoint as um, Pyra, you can shut down mix ups like that. And that's just showing, I think, the difference in tiers right there between these characters. The ability to just F tilt any little cheeky mix up that was a team may have. Ooh, very nice call out on that spot dodge right there. Just putting on so much more damage on their second stock. 70%. Oh. 83, 92, 99%. percent terrible boy. <laughs> Terra boy, ah, it's looking so scary for them. Wow, Ari back off stage. Phantom has been so good at just keeping Terra boy in a disadvantageous position, and it just feels like Terra boy can't even breathe at this point. You know, already lapping Phantom in percent. Ooh, oh, just that's. I would have uh, ups. I'm not sure why they didn't up smash out shield, but regardless, it's such a prominent lead right now. We're gonna need some. We're gonna need uh, Terra boy take the stock really quickly. And then we're gonna need some crazy extensions, and that's just not gonna happen. Just wow, that that was so explosive. Already two stocks up. Gonna get that up smash, but not gonna kill. Terra Boy has definitely been looking very, very scared. And wow, that was so that nice. Was, that was really smart oh, from Terra Boy. Wow, they waited for the Mecha Koopa, and as soon as the Mecha Koopa got to Phantom. Threw them off um, stage with Ethro and just let it kill them. And wow, this could definitely be something or the thing that actually helps Terraboy get back into this game. They need really one good instance of advantage and to just kind of, you know, make it so that Phantom is the one on the receiving end and not being able to breathe. But looking like it yeah. at right now at 89%. Terraboy is basically just going to need to play perfectly from now on. Pyra and Mithra have way too many strengths to be let them get pretty much any more openings. Ooh, the second hit coming in clutch. Is that going to be the stock? Not no. yet. Very nice DI. DI. Going to use that B, um, that cannon to actually kind of um, protect themselves again. You know, this is ooh, very scary for Terraboy. They have to find some way to get back onto center stage. Gonna whiff that grab oh, and fine. get F smashed, I mean, F tilted for their troubles. Wow, that was such an explosive game coming in from Phantom. And just wow. Yeah, Phantom is playing like they want to win this whole tournament right now. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Miss Faye. But, I mean, Miss um, Frozen, sorry. <laughs> but you have, some, you have some competition going on. I don't know. Speaking of competition, too, we have Silvio and Bobo. Now, if I remember correctly, Silvio actually got a win on last week from, or got a win on Sinji from last